Hey guys, I'm back again with another episode and in this video we're going to be covering the patch panel. So the top part here is what we call a patch panel because this is where we patch or terminate all the Ethernet cables that are coming out from every wall outlet in your organization. So for example, if you have a wall outlet at your desk where you connect your Ethernet cable to your computer for example, that cable is being terminated on the actual patch panel. As you can see here so there's ethernet cables that get patched on the actual patch panel of which i'm going to show you that as the video progresses so once the cable is terminated here on the patch panel then now it gets connected to the network switch so cables that come from your desk they don't go directly to the switch they go to the patch panel then to the switch as you can see via a small ethernet cable a flight it as i call it so in this flight it, you can easily move it around and as you can see here the movement of this flight it does not affect the actual termination at the back here and that's one of the main functionalities of a patch panel because moving around cables might damage them if you do it too much so this patch panel avoids that by making sure that these cables that are coming out from every wall outlet are terminated here so that they no longer move or we can just unplug them so what we do is we put a fly lid and this fly lid even if it gets damaged these are very easy and very inexpensive to actually buy or make so even if we were to move this around as many times as possible even if this got damaged this switch and the patch panel won't be affected so this is why we have a patch panel so now let me quickly show you the back of the patch panel so that you see what goes behind the actual patch panel itself and in later videos i'll make sure that you know yourself to actually terminate the patch panel itself and also how we're going to set up this whole thing to be a full network and make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss so now let's quickly look at the back of the actual patch panel so from the back here if you look at it from the actual back you'll notice that all the actual ethernet cables are being terminated as you can see here so if you notice there's like color combination just uh, around here so this usually tells you the actual configuration that you're going to do are you going to do the b configuration or the a configuration and i'm going to explain that in detail as we progress so as you can see like i said you get the cables terminated here we're going to cover that as well so make sure you are following the channel so once the cables are terminated here these cables go to your wall outlet like i mentioned and then from that wall outlet now you can easily connect and from here these are rj45 connections this is where again another flight comes from here onto the switch so so in summary this just helps us to connect the user to the actual network and making it that even if the small cable that we use to connect the patch panel to the switch even if that get damaged they won't have any issues with the actual ethernet cable going to the actual user so so in the next episode now we're going to look at what we can do or what tools we're going to use to actually do the termination here so make sure you're following the channel thank you for watching and stay tuned